I'm going to show you how to map out dominant seven chords all over the fretboard and then use that information to build your own dominant seven arpeggios. Let's say you want to build a D7 chord. We can do this in three steps. Step one is to find the root note on any string as low on the neck as possible. In this case, that'll be a D. Step two is to find the third, fifth, and seventh of the chord on the same string. For a dominant seven chord, the third will be a major third higher than the root, which is four frets higher. To find the fifth of the chord, we stack a minor third on top of that. That is three frets higher. And to find the seventh, we stack another minor third on top of that, which is another three frets higher. So the root third, fifth, and seventh of a D7 are D, F sharp, A, C. Step three is to map out all the other Ds, F sharps, As, and Cs on all the strings, and then you have the information you need to build your own D7 arpeggios. There are a lot of possibilities here. I'm gonna show you my favorite seventh chord arpeggios. You can copy mine, or you can use this information to build your own. Now, if you take yourself through the same process to build B flat seven chords, you end up with a lot of B flats, Ds, Fs, and A flats. The notes are different, the patterns are the same, they've just shifted. I'm gonna take advantage of the open D string for this one. I'm working on similar lessons for other types of seventh chords, and I've already posted lessons for major and minor triad arpeggios. You can check out this playlist for the whole series, and you can check out this video if you need help learning the fretboard. And for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe.